Oh yes, 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 I am actually owl saving. Uh-huh, yep. <laughs> I'm thinking I should do that every part actually, just in case, especially since it's pretty easy to navigate back to where you left off from. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go back down this way now. This is what I mean about it being easy to navigate through. Just look at that light. Oh, we're already back on track. We just need to kind of flip-flop ourselves down this hallway and we don't even have to redo the mirror puzzle. Look at that, it's just magical. I mean, there's these tonguey blocks still here. I mean, I should say they returned, but <laughs> it doesn't really mean much if the sunblocks aren't back, so... <laughs> Alright, new room we are in. Oh, this is a tricky one. <laughs> um, okay, so there's a chest with some fire. That's always a fun thing to see. There's some uh, rising air currents there. And uh, I guess we have to do with the power of our Deku. Yeah, if you see a flower and you see a Deku, go right ahead. <laughs> I'll just take a peek see over to here and oh, look at that it's little treasure chest. Oh, fairy, 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 I want you. Yeah, baby. It's the fourth fairy. I believe now if I were to go, yep, if I spin into the fire, it'll automatically put, oh, I'm going backwards. It'll automatically put me back on Ah, e instant spin mode. Okay, there. <laughs> come on, come on. I believe in you. I know there's a bomb chew hanging out around here, but I'm just gonna sneak around it. Oh shoot, that's. Oh, well. Um, can I make do with this? Maybe. <laughs> um, hmm, let's see here. Uh, probably not. Let's just do this. Whee! <laughs> It just kind of resets things. Yeah, but I could have swore there's a little switch that I need to hit somewhere around near the beginning and I'm supposed to do a Goron run to get to the chest underneath. I wonder if it was like down here. Oh, it was down here. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> I just don't want to miss things as I come across the rooms. Because when I do something to the dungeon... Oops, what did I do that for? What did I do that for? Because when I go and do stuff in the dungeons... In, yeah, when I do stuff later on, it'll be... It'll be a little bit different, and it'll be kind of trickier to get back to where we were before. And all I need to do is hit the switch. There we go, the fire's probably gonna knock me back. It's kind of funny though, um... Even when you're a Goron, the fire that's around the switch will actually still knock you back. <laughs> uh, is it gonna come back or is it permanently off now? Oh, okay, well. Well, well, you're just gonna have to trust me on that. <laughs> and now, um... Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to actually do this properly now because if I reset the room, I think I'll reset that, uh treasure chest switch though so let's just go back up see here without resetting the room via a deku and yeah see if we can get through this without too much ire whoa 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 i said without too much ire there we go <laughs> i will take that as as much ire as i will allow <laughs> Okay, now this time, rather than going on all those detours, I'm just gonna go from one air current oop, to the next. I am not anywhere close to being on track. There we go. Whenever you're inside the air current, it resets the uh, quote-unquote distance timer, I guess you can say, of uh, your Deku. So, yeah. Um, I'm backwards. This might not matter, though. Because it'll just flip me around. Yeah, it'll flip me around when I get back on track when it, I got knocked out of my flower form, and there we go. And inside that chest is, of course, another fairy! Oh yeah, this room is now cleared out happily. Okay, it, it's kind of weird when you bump into stuff while you're spinning as a Deku, it's like sometimes they don't break when they should break. <laughs> uh, oh, this boss, I kind of forgot how to beat this boss. It is, uh, the, like, a, I believe it's some Garo King or something like that. Yeah, and don't, do not ever be a Deku as, oh, it's the Garo Master, excuse me. Yeah, just, even if you block it, it'll still be like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still guarding. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to kind of re-remember 
what I'm supposed to do here. Um, let's see here. How about I try the bow? Oh, you blocked that, huh? Okay, how about I just, like, close in and do my, uh... <laughs> Mm, oops, didn't mean to. Yeah, the, since the, the swords are flaming, uh, y it'll kind of cause your Deku-ness ire. I, since I didn't do any damage, I guess, I guess I can show you. Wait, what? You can actually block the fire of... Even as a Deku? Like, it, if he hits you normally, like this, I'll just let him hit me here. It'll automatically make you fail the fight and have to restart it from the beginning. Yeah, you know, normally you're not able to block the fire stuff. That's interesting. <laughs> I guess it, it blocks the metal of the fire, even though it's on the fire, because the fire doesn't actually touch you. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got here. You can't fight him, you just dodge those swords. That doesn't really help all that much, Tattle. <laughs> let's see if I got something here. Maybe it's bombs that I used before against this monstrosity? Maybe? Let's just drop one here and just kind of... Maybe that would work. <laughs> can I kind of lead him into... Nah, no, that didn't work. Or maybe I was supposed to wait... Oh, that's right! You have to wait until he does that high jump. And then when he drops down onto the ground, then he makes himself vulnerable. I forgot all about that. And yeah, there we go. Now it's going to be an easy fight. <laughs> I just had to kind of remember what the poop I was doing there for a second there. There's another boss that I also kind of forgot how to fight. Uh, but, oh, oh yeah, you do that spin attack too, but whatever. <laughs> Aha! I suppose you can also just dodge his attacks normally like that too, I guess. Wow, that this fight could have gone a lot faster had I known that offhand. <laughs> you think I could be defeated? <laughs> it's the same dialogue. I shall take my bow. Blah, 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 blah. If you shoot that which releases the sacred golden light into the blood-stained red emblem outside the temple, it shall rearrange things in which the earth is born in the heavens and the moon is born on the earth. Do not forget these words. Die I shall leave in the corpse! <laughs> that is the law of Oscarol, but your voice, it travels. Alright, dungeon item. It is our destiny to open up. Yes! Yes! Game freeze now. <laughs> Yeah, it's the light arrow. Yep, every dungeon has a different sort of arrow, from the regular arrows all the way up to the light arrows. And uh, they use quite a bit of magic power, by the way. You see the MP4? Yeah, it's, it's more than what your typical magic power will do. <laughs> so, shall we try out said arrows? Just to show you what- oops, show you what they're like. I do believe we should. Um, I thought there was something that I can shoot, like... Uh, or maybe I'm just supposed to go... Th oh, okay, the, never mind, the door is already open, but whatever! What happened? <laughs> um, I want to go down to the punishment area first. Oh, pfft. Notice that there's a hookshot target on the ground. Again, that's hinting as to what may or may not be happening in the future. <laughs> just put it that way. There's also a treasure chest directly above us. Um, but it's not really on our, uh, plane of existence here. Uh, oops, I need to get out of here, yeah, via that. By the way, there's plenty of magic jars around the temple, but before you fight the boss boss, like the main big boss of the dungeon, I highly recommend you get some Chateau Romani, because, uh, you're gonna be using a lot of magic in that fight. I heard that. I heard that, uh-huh. Hip loop. Oh, no you don't. You. Uh, oh, I can absolutely do something about that mask. <laughs> then it turns just to, into a regular version of it. And now it's like, oh god, save me now. I have no defenses. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, there's also, I guess you could say, a, a secondary punishment area with just rupees. But it's kind of, kind of a waste of time to do that. <laughs> Especially since we've got... Over 5,000 rupees in the bank, so I think from here on out, I'm just gonna skip those sorts of punishment ru area rupee prizes. Since I no, long oops, no longer need to really grind grind for rupees and stuff. Yeah, uh-oh. We get to try out our new arrows. Oh yeah. By the way, you can get magic power from this duder if you, uh... 
uh, if you don't have any just by um, doing stuff to it. I, I kind of forgot what it does actually to get magic power out of it. Simply attacking it is no good. I say you should pay attention to the subtle changes in his eye. So it's like, you do that and it's like, it, and then you stun it. It's pretty easy. I mean, it, yeah, Igor, kind of kind of tough in other games, but not, not so much here. <laughs> And a treasure chest appears. And that is this game's incarnation of the Igor. I think there's a fairy in here. Ah, yes, there is. Number six. Pick up sticks. Um, this is back in the room with the sunblocks. I can't jump over that right now, but I would like to do that room. Like, I, I would like to do a loop around this room. Um, oh, shoot. I don't want to waste magic for one thing. Um, no shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Okay. <laughs> I still took damage. Uh, now, uh, I was kind of kind of fibbing about when I said that I couldn't really get that treasure chest, or I should say all three of the treasure chests in this room, because for one thing, you just shoot that eye, and you make a treasure chest appear right here. <laughs> oh, it actually pushed me off of it. I am disappointed. I was I was gonna show you that when I got up over here officially, because yeah, I, I wouldn't otherwise have a way to get over here. Well, maybe I could jump. Yeah, I guess maybe I could have jumped across there, but yeah, it just just seems a lot simpler to actually do that in a way that's you know right next to where I was and whatnot. All right, now we are going to blast the sun switch because we can now thanks to our power of the light arrows. And now what the hell is the treasure chest in the ceiling? This is just craziness. What what is this? This is absolutely bonkers. But it'll oh, is that, I can actually grab another fairy, really? Interesting. Fairy, fairy, fairy. Yeah, fairy, fairy, foo foo, hopping through the forest. Oh wait, that's a bunny. Never mind. Never mind. Um, and the other treasure chest, I think. I. Th Think, I don't remember if I have to set that one up ahead of time, though. Um, 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 um. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I just want to take a peek see around the room. Like, I don't remember needing the uh, lens of truth to get this treasure chest or something like that. So let's just take a. Oops. I'm going to go in first person. I don't know why I hit the R button to go into first person. I don't know. I'm just kind of being weird. So yeah, there's that treasure chest there, that one there, and there's another one. That I thought appears somewhere else. I don't remember if it's something that I uh, have to do now or later, but I, I can always kind of reverse my tracks, I guess you can say. Hmm. 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 But anyway, there's some of that extremely common magic power that I was talking about. Now, um. Oh no, wait, this isn't the way. That's, that isn't the fastest way. I want to go back over to that water room. Uh, not not the water room that's mostly vertical. The water room that is mostly horizontal. So if I follow this pathway and go underwater uh, through that opening, I will eventually come across that room, so I'll see you there. This hole right here underneath the middle platform. Yeah, that one. And here we are back at the Dexy hand room. Now I'm just gonna let myself get thrown up top again. <laughs> it's humorous and it puts me in good position. So alright, now that I have the power of light on my side. Oh, I already got the light arrows out, I'm sorry. I can now shoot these suckers. And voila! Look at that. But I do wonder here, can I hit the switch through the big gate? I can. Okay. <laughs> I guess destroying that sunblock was uh, unnecessary unless you want to get that rupee. Okay, so now we're gonna go... Hey, is there magic under here? That would be nice, thank you. Uh, we're going under. Oh, that's another thing. You actually might want to get Chateau Romani in general for the for this place because it uses a lot of magic. Um. Oh yeah, to do to get up there from this side, I got to do a fancy jump out of the water. We're gonna go. Wee! Oh, I hit my face on it. <laughs> got to try it again. Got to get got to get enough running room basically. And wee! oh, maybe I can't get it from here. Hmm. Because it doesn't look like I can hop out of water. 
Let's keep trying at this though, because I'm pretty sure I could jump out of the water using... Or maybe not... Oh no, it's the same height as that other one that I needed the Dexy hand to get across from. So I guess maybe I will have to go around the other side to actually do that for realsies. Ah, poopers. You know, I bet I could do this room a whole lot faster if I utilize all the crates in this place. You know, the little ones here? Rather than using the Elegy of Emptiness, because there's a there's a good amount of crates going on over here. I guess, yeah, there's two crates, so I can use them to my advantage to drop on the switches, and I only need to play the Elegy of Emptiness twice. One for the Goron, which is mandatory, just because it's, you know, he's so much larger. And then there's uh, one for whatever other form. Alright. Back over here. <laughs> I, I still have the treasure chest set up from the... Uh, last time, so... <laughs> um, I think, though, I I thought there might have been a fairy inside one of these Beemos. So I could be wrong about that, though, but we'll see. So I, I think I still want to destroy the Beemos. Uh, but in here I know there's a fairy, yeah. But that that's not the other fairy that I was thinking of that's inside an enemy, I, or at least I thought. But just to be sure, how about I do this? Okay, there's no more fairies. Good, good! <laughs> but there is still a treasure chest left in this room, so maybe I still do have to kill the other Beemos. Um... I just don't want to jump in the water because I can't go back without having to loop around again. I just want to make sure that I don't miss anything. That That's for the future. As is that right there. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna trust that I did everything that I need to do. And use the assistance of my friend Dexy Hand. <laughs> Whee! Okay. Now, this one right here. Can I, like... Um... Oh, wait, I, I got bombs already, that's right. Can I throw it over the wall? Um... Where'd that go? Okay, it went over the wall. <laughs> that works perfectly! Uh, oh! Yeah, nice catch, man! <laughs> uh, but yeah, how do I get that chest in the middle of the room? Or is that stuck on the ceiling or something? I don't remember. Just hold on a sec here. Uh, I can always go back around to uh, do stuff. Like, I, I can always reverse things if need be. But I just don't, don't want to do things like too far ahead of time, like, well, I, I, not not too far ahead of time, excuse me, it's that I, I don't want to miss stuff. <laughs> there's, there's, there's still, there's still, we're, we're still working on the clock here, for one thing, remember. Um, what if I kill you? Will that make a difference? Uh, maybe not. Uh, what if I destroy these? Aha! Take that. Aha! Take that. Uh, wait, are these even t causing me any damage at double health? Or, or what? Like, okay, they are giving me a little bit of damage. <laughs> Just a quarter of health of damage now. Uh, okay, that that's absolutely all of the critters in this place, and I didn't see any switches or something like that, so... I think... I think that is it for these particular rooms. I can, by the way, going outside of that room and coming back in will reset the critters in that room, so... You can experiment with that and whatnot, but I don't think that is necessary, as I don't recall anything else there besides that one chest that I can't ha really have access to at the moment. I don't think I have access to it, at least. But I might later on, maybe. For now, believe it, oops, believe it or not, I'm actually going to leave the dungeon and owl save. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna owl save again, just, just to be as safe as humanly possible, because this is Majora's Mask after all. Can I hookshot across there? Uh, maybe I can't. Well, I can always use the Song of Soaring to do that. <laughs> So yeah, an owl save I definitely recommend that you do because things are gonna be turned on its head. <laughs> so let's get ourselves out with that. Got it? Good. 
And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my trek through the dungeon. Hopefully I'll be able to finish it completely. <laughs>